So we shall turn your face towards the direction which you like, which, which will please you. So now turn your face towards the direction of the Masjid al-Haram. This is the mosque around the Baitullah. This is Masjid al-Haram. The sacred mosque. And wherever you may be, O Muslims, what does it mean? It is not a personal command for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam only, it's from the whole of Ummah. Wherever you may be, Haysuma kuntum, O Muslims, fawallu wujuhakum shatra. So turn your faces towards Kaaba, towards Masjid al-Haram, while praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa inna al-lazina utul kitab ala ya'lamuna annahu al-haqqum in rabbihi. And verily and surely, people who are given the book, they know it for sure, that this is the truth from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They knew it, that the real Tibla was, was Kaaba. That real direction, the first house that was built for the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was at Bakka. Inna awwala baytil wudiyya linnaas illa al-lazeebi Bakka ta mubaraka wa hudan lil alameen. Because everybody knew it and everybody knows it, that Jerusalem actually as a city was founded by Solomon alayhi salatu wa salam, Hazrat Sulaiman. About 2000 years or at least 1500 years after Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam. There was no Jerusalem at the time of Ibrahim. So actually, this, is, this was the first house, Kaabatullah. And it was built originally by Adam alayhi salatu wa salam. But the, secondly, it was renewed by Ibrahim and Ismail alayhi salatu wa salam, which we have read in the previous sections. So that this house is the older house. And you know the Prophet Moses alayhi salatu wa salam, in which direction he was praying, when there was no Jerusalem. The temple of Solomon was going to be built at, at least 500 years after him. So which direction he was praying at that time? So actually the old and the ancient Qibla was this very Qibla. So people who were knowledgeable of the book of Allah, who really knew the Torah, they knew it. وَإِنَّ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ لَيَعْلَمُونَ أَنَّهُ الْحَقُّ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ Verily and surely, those who are given the book, they know that this is the truth from their Lord. وَمَا اللَّهُ بِغَافِلِ نَمَّا يَعْمَلُونَ And Allah is not unaware of what they are doing. وَلَيْنَ تَعْتَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ بِكُلِّ آيَةٍ And if you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, bring forth before these people of the book all the proofs, all the arguments, مَا تَبِعُوا قِبْلَتَكْ they are not going to follow and accept your Tibla. وَمَا أَنْتَ بِتَعْبِينَ قِبْلَتَهُمْ And now that the truth has been dawned unto you and the commandment from Allah has come unto you, now you cannot follow their Tibla. You can also not follow their Tibla in any case. وَمَا بَعْضُهُمْ بِتَعْبِينَ بَعْضُ قِبْلَةَ بَعْضُ And some of them cannot follow the, the Tibla of the others. Because although Jerusalem was sacred for both Christians, and the Jews. But in the temple, temple of Solomon itself, for the Jews it was the western corner which was more holy. And for the Christians it was the eastern part of the temple which was more, more holy. Because you know Hazrat Maryam alayhi salatu was salam took to a takaf in the eastern corner of the temple of Sol Solomon, of the Haikal. So that is why you know between among them also, although they agreed on Jerusalem, on the temple, but in the temple, there was a difference of opinion about the direction. When in the temple, when we are in Kaaba, in Masjid al-Haram, all are facing towards Kaaba. But if in, even in Masjid al-Haram, somebody is facing towards east and somebody is facing towards west, now what is it? The, the, the difference is very apparent. This term would have been very apparent. It is not so. In the Masjid al-Haram, we all face towards Kaaba in circles. But in Jerusalem, in the temple of Solomon, the Christians were facing towards east and the Jews were facing towards west. So they didn't have even one Tibla. 
although the house although the the, the temple of solomon that was common to them so that is the meaning of this ayah even all the proofs you may produce before them, they are not going to follow your Qibla. Now you can also not follow their Qibla. You have followed your Qibla for 16 months. But now the command has come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you cannot follow their Qibla. And they cannot follow the Qibla of each other also. And if you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and if you, O Muslims, you follow their wishes, after that the this truth has, the real knowledge has been communicated to you, that this has come to you, then you will be from the unjust people. You will also be from zalimin. الَّذِينَ آتَيْنَاهُمُ الْكِتَابَ يَعْرِفُونَهُ كَمَا يَعْرِفُونَ أَبْنَاهُ To those whom we gave the book, they recognize it or recognize him. يَعْرِفُونَهُ can be for Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. It can be for Kaaba. It can be for Quran. يَعْرِفُونَهُ The pronoun who can point towards either Muhammad, person of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. They recognize the person of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم that he is the last messenger of Allah about whom there were the prophecies in Torah and Injil. They recognize that this Qibla is the real Qibla, the ancient Qibla, the old Qibla, the original Qibla. They recognize that this Quran is the book of Allah, is the word of Allah. الَّذِينَ آتَيْنَاهُمُ الْكِتَابَ يَعْرِفُونَهُ كَمَا يَعْرِفُونَ أَبْنَاهُمْ وَإِنَّ فَرِيقًا مِّنْهُمْ لَيَكْتُمُونَ الْحَقَّ وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ But a group among them, some of them, they are hiding and concealing the truth knowingly. They know it that they are hiding the truth. The truth is in their knowledge and intentionally they are concealing and hiding it. الْحَقَّ مِنْ رَبِّكَ فَلَا تَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْمُمْتَرِينَ But you know, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and O Muslims, this is the truth from your Lord. So none of you should be one of those who go into doubt. You must have full conviction that this is the real Qibla and this is the ancient Qibla and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has restored you to the original Qibla.